Sholton, makers of Old Spice after shave lotion for that top of the world feeling after every shave, brings you the top of the world in action drama for men. Hi, adventure! High adventure, friend. That's what we call it. And as long as you're here, sit down and be a new recruit to the High Adventure Society. If you like your stories strong and savage, your heroes he-man and hard, then you're qualified and your membership chair will be waiting for you each week. To those of you in the know who've been around before, sit tight. On the agenda is The Snowmen, written and directed especially for High Adventure by Bob Monroe. It concerns four men deep in the North Country who gambled desperately for million-dollar stakes. And, but suppose we let you follow it through yourself. For here to tell it is one of the four men, Big Bill Ortman. The Snowmen, a Northwood story of high adventure. Some men seem to get along fine working the same job week after week, year after year. Others, like me, never seemed to be able to stay in one place very long. I was on the road when I was 12, moving from place to place, learning as I went along. By this time, I've been a good many ways, seen a good many things. And I don't know which is better off, me or the man who stays put. But I know this, I'll never go north again. I'll give it to you just as it happened. I teamed up with Wally, Burt, and Slim one night at Wildman's Landing. Split four ways, furs, gold, uranium, whatever we made. We headed up Chinook Country, past LeBlanc. When winter came, we decided to hole up and the bush pilot dropped the supplies we needed. The snow was already heavy when we were working the ridge that day. Wally was out on the trap line and we were just killing time till he got back. Break this up a little, Slim. Sure. Let me see some of that you just broke. That's sandstone. Let me have some anyway. All right, all right. Boy, if it wasn't so cold, I'd be high. Told you it was sandstone. I guess so. Hey, why don't we just stick in a little dynamite and blow the whole ridge apart? We got one case left. We're not going to break it. Sure save a lot of work with the pick. Use your hands, not your mouth, will you, Slim? What the heck's the hurry? We're going to dig. Let's get digging. Here, you take the pick. What's the matter? High pockets getting worn out? We're going to burn all the time. Take it out on a rock. What's eating you? Not a thing. We're all going to do our share. You too. I'll swing it. Give me the pick. I'm doing my share. Doing more in my share. And don't try to be boss. I'm not trying anything. Nobody's boss. This where you want, Bill? Yeah. Rock. Rock. More rocks. That looks like something. You strike a scene? Nah, I split a floater. Hold it, Slim. Let's see. Well? Quit leaning on me, will you? I reckon he's... He's shooting. Signal from the kid. Let's get up the ridge. Had some luck with his traps, I guess. I could use some fresh meat. Yeah, or a good pelt. He's over that way. Come on. Got a bear, maybe. Traps wouldn't hold one. In the forest, near the break. Sounds to me like it came from near over that Near the break. That's where it came from. Yeah, He's made us come for no reason now. Sure as heck would be funny if he got a bear by the tail and couldn't Shut let up, go. Shut up, Slim. It. Hold it. Hey, Wally. Come on. Look what I found. I hope it's something more than a jackrabbit. What is it? An airplane, an airplane. Sure is beat up. Let's get a look at it. I was going to string a new trap line through here when I thought the woods looked funny. Shut up. Been here a long time. Yeah. Bunch of skeletons inside. I thought I ought to sit Help me be... pull this stuff away, Bert. Yeah. Must have crashed mighty hard. Look at the way they're all jammed. Well, are you away. going in or not, Bill? Yeah, yeah. I wonder how long it's been here. Years, if you ask me. Look at the way that tree grows through that. Yeah? What do you think of this? What is it? You can keep your skeleton. The uniform. But what kind? Hey, I reckon Nazi, not... that's a soft deacon. Nazi German. Yeah. There's something strange here. What would Nazi well, they didn't officers... didn't get where be... they were going. That's one thing, sure. No. I guess they didn't know the war was over, huh? Well, I'll be doggone. What is it, Slim? Come here, come here. What do you got? I pulled open their suitcase. Ain't they pretty? Whole thing chock full of them. Ain't these diamonds? Yes. And look at here. What's these? 
Emeralds, if they're real. They're beautiful. I think they are real. Boy, wouldn't my old Sioux girl look pretty with some of these hung on her. She'd be so set Let up. I have to... some of that stuff, Slim. Sure. Are they real? That big one must be four carrots. Sure, make a sight, don't they? Are they real? Yeah, they are. They're mine. I was here first. Now, hold on a minute. I found that suitcase. I found the plane, didn't I? I found the plane. But it was me who opened the suitcase. They're mine. You would have never found it. Shut up, shut up, both of you. We made a strike. I found them. Bill, you know what junk like this is. Have we got something? Yeah. Is it worth much? Yeah, it's worth something. How much? Well, I don't know. Maybe a hundred bucks? More than that, I know. A thousand? You want to guess? Yeah, just rough. How much? Somewhere over a million dollars, depending on the market. Well, what do you know? A million. You sure? I said I was, didn't all I? All right, all right. We split it four ways. I found it. I ought to be able to it's biggest... a strike. We agreed whatever it was, we split four ways. Any objections? We'll haul up in the cabin for the winter like we planned. Then in the spring, we'll get In the we'll spring, what do we have to stay for now? We each got a quarter of a million dollars. It's too late to make the track out. We'd never get there. Reckon that's so, but it sure would be nice Bert's been get... up in this country more than I have. Ask him. We could make it out if we started now, couldn't we, Bert? I wouldn't any more think of... Yeah... Yeah, we can make it. Big snow's coming in any day. I'm not going to get caught. We can make it, I tell you. Sure, we can. We made our strike. Why stay up here if we don't have to? Have you ever walked a thousand miles on snowshoes at 30 below zero? Well, I'm for trying it. What? I'd sure as I'd rather die in the snow than have you fellas cooked up in a cabin for six months together. I'd never know who slipped my throat. Slim's right, Bill. Well, I want to get a chance. Shut up, Wally. You got the picture, Bill? Already we've been fighting each other. You want to spend six months with Wally, Slim, and me, and wonder if you're going to wake up the next day with us splitting it three ways instead of four? I don't want to. You three go on. I'll come out next spring. Oh, no. Let him stay if he wants. We're going to need all our supplies to get us out. We can't leave you enough to last you so you don't stay. I say you're overruled. Three against one. That the way you and Wally want it, Slim? All right. Let's get going. The sooner the better. Get ready for me, Texas. I'm coming. Come on, Bill. Snap out of it. We're rich, man. We're rich. Yeah, if we live to spend it. <laughs> you find four men who struck it rich with a vengeance. They each have a quarter of a million dollars in diamonds and jewels. But the main problem is for them to get to a place where they can spend it. That means Big Bill, Wally, Slim, and Bert start out across a thousand miles of ice and snow. And what happens along the trail is anybody's guess. But that's not unusual, friend, for this is the beginning of another high adventure. According to our high adventure story, it seems it's easier to spend time than money. And sometimes it's a lot more profitable. So let's spend a profitable minute talking about good grooming. I don't mean just the Saturday night kind of grooming when a fella gets all slicked up for a big date. I mean the everyday attention to detail that means a really well-groomed man. The kind of man, in short, who uses Old Spice Lotion every sha- time he shaves. Once you've tried Old Spice Lotion... The aftershave lotion, its bracing freshness will become a part of your daily life you'll never want to miss. Old Spice aftershave lotion is soothing, antiseptic, and healing to the skin. It instantly takes away uncomfortable razor burn, and your skin feels smooth and cool. Old Spice aftershave lotion has a clean, fresh, masculine scent that men prefer. Yes, everywhere you go, you'll find that men who appreciate real quality, men who know the value of good grooming, say... I use Old Spice Lotion every time I shave. And now back to the snowmen, Big Bill Ortman's Northwood story of high adventure. Back at the cabin, we divided up the diamonds and jewelry as nearly into four equal parts as we knew how. Slim cut up some canvas and sold four bags, one for each of us to carry his share of the strike. Then we packed our rolls and started across the snow. Bert led the way because he knew the territory better than the rest of us. It was going to be a hard enough trek without getting lost. The weather was good to us the first week, with only light snow and temperature not much below zero. It was a hard pace, Bert said, and nobody talked much during the day. At night, we'd eat sourdough meals and roll in around the fire. Boy, will my Sue girl be glad to see me. I show her all them diamonds, she'll never let me go. 
She let you go before. Yeah, but I couldn't buy her no pretty things then. She don't want you to marry her. That's what they all want. Listen to the big man with women. Yeah. Well, they do. I told old Sue I was going north to make my fortune, and she said, don't come back till you do. Well, I got my fortune. I'm coming back. The government doesn't take it away from you. Yeah, you're going to have to pay income taxes now, Slim. Heck, I'll tell them an uncle left it to me. I got so many uncles, they won't know the difference. Then you'll have to pay inheritance taxes. I'll figure a way. I wonder how they got there. Who? Those fellows in the airplane. They crashed. Anybody could see that. It's simple. All right, you tell us. Airplanes crash all the time. Nobody finds them. That's not what I mean. Been there for years, hadn't it? I had a hard time seeing it. It was covered with brush. I was right on the There were no I... search parties even for this baby. Why? Because nobody knew it was coming, so nobody knew it crashed. I don't get it. Yeah, you're too dumb to. A plane load of German Nazis flying somewhere with a suitcase. They were running of... out. They were losing the war, so they grabbed what they could and they ran. Oh, shut up. That sounds like what could have happened. That's what did happen. Nazi big shots getting out while they could. I wonder who they were. Well, I'm sure as heck not going back to find out. When we get out, we can tell the government. One of you're them. You're not might... going to tell anybody. I don't see any reason. You're not going to tell anybody about it. None of us are going to talk about it. You want to keep what you got? He's right. You've got to be careful. We'll confiscate the stuff and we won't get a penny. We ought to get We don't to... take the chance. We don't talk. Well, I'm going to get the sack. Get off my bedroll, Slim. I'm not on it. This one's mine. I don't know. I carry it. Get off. That's yours, the other side of the fire. I want to go to sleep. Go on. I'm not stopping you. may look like yours, but it's mine. I always sleep with my head. Are point... you going to get off? I ain't going to get off what's I mine. I want to go to sleep. Quit pushing me. I'll get your own. You can't do that. I did it. Got me all full of snow. So bad. Now you're going to get off. Yeah. Think you're so big. <laughs> you want some more? Get up. You've been asking for off the knife, Slim. I'll cut your wide open. Let him come. Let him come. A good 45 slug. You think slug you can scare me? You come at enough. me with a knife and I'll let you have it. So help me, I'll let you have it. All right, can it, both of you. What difference does it make whose role it is? They're all the same. Big guys always think they can push folks around. You shouldn't have pulled a knife oh, Shut up, Wally. Let's get some sleep. Go on, take which one you want. I don't care. Don't make no difference. Well, make up your mind. Wally, get some more wood in the fire. It's got enough now. It'll go out before morning. Why do I always have to do Cause it? Because you can't do anything else. Oh, I can't. Oh, I'll do it. Well, you gotta sleep to live. Uh, I want to live to spend all my strike. What's that? Coyote, maybe. Wolf. Yeah, I haven't seen him up this way for years. The wolf, all right. Well, he won't bother us as long as we're together. It'll be rough going if that snow gets heavier. Sure we're going in the right direction, Bert? Leave it to me, will you? I know what I'm doing. Yeah, maybe you do. Wally, Slim, time to roll out. Leave me alone, will you? Let's get up, fix some grub, and get moving. Oh, it's a hurry. Uh, listen. Oh, what? Feel it? What's the matter now? Out in the northwest, all right. The wind? Yeah. It's not snowing. It will be, like you never felt snow before. When it does, we want to be on our way as far as we can get. Roll Slim out, Wally. Why do Work I Wake him always... up. All right, all right. I'll fix up the fire. Where's the coffee? And the other pack. Come on, you lazy bum. Wake up. Oh, that wally drives me nuts. Good for the little stuff. I guess so. Bill, Bert. What's the matter? You're not man enough to wake him? Come here. Come here. What is it now? Can't you get him up? Look. He's dead, you see? He's dead. Yeah. His own knife in his chest. Hmm. It's cold. I forgot it sometime during the night. With his own knife. Who killed him? Who did it? Oh, what's the matter? I don't think there was anybody near us for at least a hundred... No, look at me. I didn't do it. Where's his bag of stuff? Must be under him. Help me lift him up. I didn't do it. There it is. I got it. All right. Well, what do we do with it? Split it up. Yeah, why not? You got to give me my share. Shut up. We will. Now we each get a third. First, let's get one thing straight. What? Now we know just where we stand. Go on. What Slim. do you mean? Slim didn't stick that knife in his own chest and he didn't fall on it. One of us doesn't mind a little killing. I didn't do it. You, Bert, or Wally here figure they'd rather have a third than a fourth. Or you. You could have done it. You fought with Slim last night. Bert. Give me the shells out of your gun. Oh, wait a minute. I'll need Give them to me. All right. All right, Wally, you're next. I don't have any gun. The little automatic you carry inside your jacket. How did you Give know it I... to me. I don't like it. Uh, how about yours? Yes, yes. How about your rifle? You watch. Now, 
Now, let's see any of us find a bullet for his gun. I'll never find him in the snow the way you threw him. It's dangerous. What if we need a gun for... It's a good deal more dangerous for a killer to have a loaded gun in his hand. I didn't do it. Well, you shut up. You're always whining. All right, let's get Slim Barry. Don't want the wolves eating on him. Then we're moving and we're keeping on moving. It's safer that way. You're going to take me. Keep walking, then. Smart guy. Help me watch the trail. Snow's covering Why don't you get it all for yourself? What? I'll go back for a third of a million bucks, too. Ah, you don't make sense. Make plenty of sense, smart guy. There he is. Oh, is he? Oh, is he calling me your mama's boy? My heart's all right. Come on, kid. Get up. I'll show him. I'll go be a man. Be like other men. Nobody can take care of me. You can't lie down, kid. It's too cold. You're free. I'm... I'm all right, Bill. I... I can... Ma- Let go of that. Bert! He won't be needing it. Give it to me. Give it back, Bert. So you can get it. You're, you're not going to take my bag of money. You're not... Shut up. You... I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll... I fainted. Wally. Let him lay. Come on, we got to keep moving. Come on, Wally. Snap out of it. You'll freeze in five Let minutes. Let him lay. Yeah, I guess I will. He's dead. Not so quick. Must have had a stroke. Too much effort. I don't know. So that makes two of us. 50-50 split. Right down. Now, can you hear me, Big Bill? No 50-50 split. No split at all. First, you're back. <laughs> now, that makes four. You hear me, Big Bill? I got all four. No split. A million bucks. Now, I'll get you... I'll get your boots off so you can't follow me. <laughs> Not that you could find your way out. I've been leading you around in circles for two days, but you wouldn't wear out. You wouldn't get tired. Why, you need me to hit you again? Gun butt's good and hard. It's harder than your skull. I've been up here for years trying to hit a strike, and when I do, you think I'm going to split it with three greenhorns? <laughs> yeah, sure I will. Bert. Come on. Try to follow and freeze your feet. Uh, I'll get you. Sure. Uh, you keep going around in circles. The snow will cover my trail. Then you lay down and sleep. I'll, I'll get you. If you can catch me. Lay down and sleep. I'll get you, Bert. I'll get you. I'll get you. certainly didn't give you a wrong steer, did I, members? How would you like to be hit over the head in sub-zero blizzard a hundred miles from nowhere, stripped of your boots and left to lay down and sleep? How does it end? Well, we'll find out. But we're sure of this. Big Bill Ortman is telling us the kind of story that can only be called High Adventure. Just before we head into our rugged High Adventure finish, let me tell you about a perfect finish. If any of you men don't know what a grand feeling it is to finish off your morning shave with Old Spice after shave lotion, you're missing something. Because Old Spice lotion is the perfect finish for a shave. You'll find its skin-tingling freshness will make you feel wide awake and ready for the day. Old Spice after shave lotion has a convenient dispensing top. 
And the handsome ship-decorated bottles are a pleasure for a man to see and to use. And here's an important extra. The Old Spice aftershave lotion stopper has an exclusive leak-proof feature which makes it ideal for traveling. Try Old Spice lotion tomorrow morning and be sure of a perfect shave every time you shave. And now for the climax of The Snowmen, as told by Big Bill Ortman, his story of high adventure. I must have passed out again from the blow Bert hit me on the head. When I came out of it, my feet were cold. Then I remembered Bert, and I wasn't tired anymore, and the fire in my chest made me forget the cold. I was going to get him. Bert had made a mistake. He'd taken my boots, but he didn't think about Wally. The kid's boots were tight, but I got him on, covered his body with snow, and picked up Bert's trail just as the snow was covering it. He'd be moving fast, but those four bags were heavy. He was packing them, and I wasn't. Luck was with me. The snow stopped near the end of the day, so I didn't have any trouble tracking him. At the end of the second day, I saw him in the distance, a black dot against the snow. I think he saw me, too, because he tried to move faster. The next day, I caught him by a frozen lake. The ice was jagged where an avalanche had broken through. Well? How do you feel, huh? Quickly, quickly. Right down the middle. Keep after me. I'll clump you with a rifle again. Uh-huh. Okay for a deal? Okay for a deal, Bill? No deal. Fifty fifth. No deal. Half, half a million bucks apiece. That's that's plenty for each of us. We live big the rest of our lives. All right? I don't want this. I didn't fix you good enough, huh? Uh, maybe this time. Now don't try it. What? Don't try it, Bert. Where'd you get that knife? You keep forgetting about your pardon. I told you I'd give you half. Slim gave me the knife. I pulled it out of his chest and kept it. Look, you're a hard guy like me, Bill. Slim gave you... me the knife and Wally gave me the boots. You're crazy. Share and share alike. That was the deal when we teamed up at Wildman's Landing. That's what Wally and Slim want. Sure. But now that Slim and Wally are dead. Share and share alike. Sure. Slim and Wally are dead. Share and share alike. I don't get what you mean, Bill. You will. All right. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Follow me across the lake. But you're not going to get nothing. You're not going to get nothing. I'm going to get you. When it snows again, you'll miss my trail. I got two partners to help me. You'll miss my trail. And you go around in circles and... Hey! Oh! Bill! Bill, give me a hand! Bill! Bill, the water is freezing. But... Walk on thin ice too often, huh? You can't keep myself up. Will the ice breaks off? I'm going to let you die. You have all of it. The whole thing is bust. Give me a hand. I, I don't know. I... Look at my back. It'll come down with me. A whole million bucks. Give me a chance. Give me a chance, Bill. Give me a chance. All right. All right. Hang on. Gotta get your back. Freeze. So, no, no, you don't. Just... Gotta don't keep you back. from freezing. Gotta keep you. Not cold, not cold. You're not going to get it. Roll over. Slim was sneaking around, trying to take my share, but I got him. I got him good. Bird. Him sneaking around when we were sleeping, but I got him. Bird, how far is the nearest settlement? What? Got to get you there fast. Uh, I'm okay. Which way do we go? I can make it. I'll help you. Let go. Oh, I can make it. Which way? South. Southwest. Just can't stay here. I got to keep moving. Let me rest for a minute. You want to feed the wolves? Wolves? No, 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 no. Come on. I've got to rest. Got to keep walking. Let go. I'm not, not, not going to get them. They're all mine. Come on. Keep walking. I'm not going to get them. Hang on my shoulder. Got to keep walking. Keep Today, Osman. Better? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so, Doc. You'll be as good as new in a few weeks. Bert's dead, huh? He was dead when the bush pilot spotted you and picked you up. Immersion in water at those temperatures is almost always fatal. Within minutes, unless immediate medical attention is given. You were yelling at the wolves and dragging his body through the snow when you were found. Out of my head, was I? Oh, something like that. Oh, by the way, there were four bags of pebbles in your partner's pack. Uh, what do you want us to do with them? I don't care. 
Turn them over to the government. Pebbles! Yes, we thought they might be ore samples, but analysis didn't Pebbles, show. those aren't pebbles. That's a million dollars in jewels. Oh, you must have had a hard time, Morton. There's nothing but pebbles and bits of rocks in the bags. I'll have the nurse give you another sedative. So in can... all four bags, nothing but rock? All four bags, full of it, yes. Played a switch. Who? Bert? No, no, no. He was sure. Sure he had it. Wally, Wally could have. We'll give you something to rest. Slim. Bert said he was sneaking around. Slim. <laughs> slim. He's going slim. <laughs> Smarter than all of us. And we buried his pack with him somewhere. Somewhere I... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> right back with what I'll get his I'm, I'm all right. I'm, I'm all right. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you relaxed? You know, if a man was ever shot clean through his luck, you're it. Look. Well, if it hadn't been a clear day, that bush pilot would never have spotted you. You'd still be walking out there. Or probably you would not be doing anything in anything more at all. Lay down and sleep, huh? Exactly. If they hadn't been able to land and fly you in, we couldn't have saved your legs. You and your three partners were crazy to try to walk out this time of year. Yeah. We were crazy. You couldn't pay me a million dollars to try a hike like that. What? I said you couldn't pay me a million dollars to do what you did. That's what I'm trying to figure. Well, I don't understand. What are you trying to figure? Look out the, the window. Yes. You see the kids playing in the yard? Oh, yes. They're making snowmen. And they throw at them and break them up. It's a child's game. But what's their price for making them? Price? Would you... Make snowmen for a million bucks, Doc. Me? I don't know. I still don't know. Snowmen, Big Bill Ortman's Northwood story of high adventure. And thank you, Bill. We'll place it in the archives of the High Adventure Society, marked S for Savage, and hold it for future publication. Uh, let's get a little heat in here. I feel cold. Anyway, I, I'm sure you'd like to know the names of the folks who gave you that fine performance. In the leading role was Don Douglas, with John Larkin, Joe Helgeson, and Jack Orison. Our High Adventure Orchestra was, of course, conducted by Lou Davies. And next week, friends and members... High Adventure is proud to present one of the strangest stories we've ever found. Return Match, which concerns a man who was charged with a murder he didn't commit and had to face death in order to prove he didn't. So until next week, this is your presiding officer saying, it's all around you, whatever you do, wherever you go. Only we call it High Adventure. <laughs> Remember to join us again next week when Shulton brings you another exciting story of high adventure, return match. And remember, too, that Old Spice After Shave Lotion gives you wonderful value for your money. There are two generous sizes of this quality lotion, a dollar and a dollar seventy-five. Look for the handsome red Old Spice cartons at drug and department stores everywhere. And for that top-of-the-world feeling, use Old Spice Lotion after every shave. Today, hear Henry Morgan and Chris London on NBC.